What does labored breathing look like? Have you ever noticed someone struggling to breathe and wondered what that looks like? Understanding labored breathing is essential for anyone in nursing or health care. Let's break down the signs you might see. First, labored breathing often means the patient is breathing faster than usual. A normal respiratory rate is typically between 12 to 20 breaths per minute. If you see someone breathing more than 24 times a minute, that could indicate they are having trouble getting enough oxygen. Next, you might notice the use of accessory muscles. Normally, breathing is a simple process involving the diaphragm. However, when someone is experiencing labored breathing, muscles in the neck, shoulders, and abdomen may visibly contract. This shows that the person is working harder to breathe. Another sign is nasal flaring. This occurs when the nostrils widen during inhalation. It is especially common in children but can also happen in adults who are in respiratory distress. You should also look for retractions. This is when the skin between the ribs, below the rib cage, or above the collarbones pulls inward as the person tries to breathe in. This indicates that they are struggling to expand their lungs effectively. Pursed lip breathing is another common behavior. This is when a person exhales through tightly pressed lips. It helps keep the airways open longer, which can improve oxygen exchange. You might see this in patients with chronic respiratory conditions. Audible breathing sounds can also be a clue. If you hear wheezing, grunting, or strider, these sounds indicate that there may be an obstruction in the airways or that the person is having difficulty maintaining airflow. Color changes in the skin can be alarming. If you notice a bluish tint around the mouth, lips, or fingernails, this is called cyanosis and suggests inadequate oxygenation. Sometimes, the skin may appear pale or grayish. Facial expressions can tell you a lot, too. A patient may look anxious or distressed due to the sensation of breathlessness. Excessive sweating can accompany this increased effort to breathe, so keep an eye out for that as well. Lastly, posture can change. Patients may sit upright or lean forward, often referred to as the tripod position. This position helps them maximize lung expansion and ease their breathing. In nursing practice, it is vital to assess labored breathing by observing these signs. Monitoring vital signs, such as respiratory rate and oxygen saturation, is important. Listening to lung sounds can also help identify any abnormal breath sounds. Recognizing labored breathing early allows for prompt intervention. This might include starting oxygen therapy or providing reassurance to the patient. Always document your observations, including any use of accessory muscles or signs of respiratory distress. By understanding what labored breathing looks like, you can play a key role in providing timely care. Being aware of these signs can make a significant difference in patient outcomes.